Hi, I'm Ryan Holger, and I'm with you guys today. We're doing a video series on thermostat wiring, and today's topic is rooftop unit specifically. So we're here in the lab with a rooftop unit. Let's take this thing apart and get to wiring. All right, the room we're working on right now is a single stage heat, single stage cooling unit. We'll talk in a little bit about what to do if you have multiple stages, but the general premise will be the same. So there are certain terminal designations on the board here that do certain jobs. So the thermostat is going to send a signal. Specifically, it's gonna close a relay to complete electrical circuit, send that signal back up to this board. And when that happens, the board is gonna take action. So each of these wires coming from our thermostat downstairs has a specific responsibility and a job. Generally speaking, they follow a uh, standardized color coding system. Although because of the availability of wires that someone has on a project, it may not always be this color system. So you're essentially matching whatever it says here, such as G, to what it says downstairs on the thermostat, also labeled G. So let's go through some of these here. So as you can see, the very first one we have on the board there is a common. So for our purposes here, for common, I'm gonna use black. So common is black in this case. So we'll wire that up there. The next one on here is a hum terminal for uh, for dehumidification. We're not using that in this application. That's not a standard thing, so we don't need that. The next one is G. G is gonna be green. That's why it's called G. And G is gonna be for our fan. G is always fan. I should also probably say in this case, the C is gonna be common. We'll keep it consistent on the board there. The next one on here is W2, which we're not using in this case. W2 would be second stage of heat. Below that is W1. We are gonna use W1. In our case for W1, we're gonna use it with the white wire. I can't really do that on the board here with a white whiteboard, so we'll just do it in black. That'll be white, and that'll be my heat. Next one below that is Y2. That's second stage cooling. We don't have that in this application. And we have Y1, that is gonna be first stage of cooling. Uh, I don't have the ability to use Y for yellow on the whiteboard here, so we'll use a Y in blue. It'll be yellow, and that'll be for cooling. And then the last one down there is R, which as you probably would guess is red. And that's the hot. So one, two, three, four, five, that's my standard thermostat wiring that I'm gonna have on pretty much any single stage heating and cooling unit. If you have a heat pump, that's gonna be a different beast. But if it's gas fired heat or electric heat and it's one stage, this is how it's gonna wire up. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We got our stuff all wired up here now, our five designated wires. If this was a two-stage heating or a two-stage cooling unit, then I would need to wire Y2 for cooling, second stage, and W2. Usually what most people will do is they'll use the blue wire for the second stage of cooling. So yellow would stay stage one, stage two would be blue typically, but not always. It's still labeled as Y. So it's kind of weird, the color designations and letters came from the original coloring of the wire, but then as new things got invented over the decades, they kind of kept the same color. So Y1 is typically yellow stage one, Y2 is also yellow um, stage two, but we'll use the blue wire because you don't have two of the same. So blue wire would go there, and then in this case, I would use brown for second stage of heat, and if I had a heat pump, I would use this orange wire for the reversing valve. In this case, we don't need those in that application, so we would tuck those away, tape them off. Let's go downstairs and wire the thermostat up now. Now we're down here at the thermostat. We got this thing wired up. Uh, you'll notice that the coloring order is not the same as it was on the roof. That's normal. It doesn't matter what order they're in. And it doesn't even matter if things go on the right or the left, or two of them are on the right and three on the left, or if the, this wiring strip is horizontal. We don't care where it's at. We're just matching up the colors to the designations. So upstairs we add uh, W uh, for heat on white. So now we gotta take the white wire and go to W down here. On this stat, it happens to be labeled W1 slash OB. In our application, we only need the W. So we're gonna pick W. OB is a different application. You program the stat differently. Yellow is going to Y1, green to G, red to R, and then we have black going to common. We gotta match those five up. You'll notice this stat has plenty of other wires on here that we're not using, other terminal spots. 
Those are for different, different applications. That's fairly common that you're not using everything of the specific model stat you've chosen. We finished wiring things downstairs to the thermostat. We're all set up here at the rooftop unit. As long as the colors match between them, W goes to W, Y goes to Y, etc. Everything should work beautifully. If for some reason it didn't, you would need to use an electrical meter to troubleshoot your wiring to see what you might have made an error on. And we'll cover that in a separate video. Thanks for joining us.